I'm Sarah. I'm one of the undergraduate researchers working on the Solanaceae Coordinated Agricultural Project, or SOLCAP. Today we're going to be looking at making crosses between different tomato genotypes. Plant breeding is dependent on having various populations. To establish these populations, we first make crosses between two individuals that have traits that we are interested in combining. Our greenhouse is set up with sections for male and female plants. Each individual plant gets a different genetic combination and we keep a close track of the crosses that are made. The male plants will be donating the pollen and the female plants will be donating the ovule. A tomato flower consists of bracts, petals, and anthers fused together to form the anther cone and the stigma and style. First we remove all the fully open flowers from the female plant to reduce the number of self-pollinated fruit. To make a cross, we start by selecting an immature flower and emasculate it by removing the anther cone. The anther cone is exposed by first removing the bracts and the petals. Then with a gentle tug, the anther cone is removed, exposing the stigma and the style. Next, we take a flower from the proper male plant for this cross and extract the pollen. Pollen can be extracted in a number of ways, usually by vibrating the anther cone onto a surface and collecting it. Once collected, the pollen is then applied to the stigma of the emasculated flower and the cross is made. The pollinated flowers on the female plant are then labeled with tags to differentiate between fruit resulting from the cross and fruit from self-pollination.